All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I am going to be discussing some sports teams that have recently rebranded, I guess you could say, or changed their primary logo. Just some different things that I've noticed. Obviously, some of these situations a lot bigger than others with teams changing their names for different reasons, things like that. Uh, but there are two main ones that I wanted to talk about, both MLB related. So the first one, obviously we do know the Cleveland Guardians. They were originally, of course, the Cleveland Indians. They changed to the Guardians. Their new primary logo is the Fastball G, I guess is what they're calling it with kind of the wings there. I think it's an okay logo. Certainly, I think the original Indians logo was better, but obviously they changed it because they deemed it, I guess, racist or not marketable. They actually changed their original primary logo all the way back in 2013, and they were already kind of phasing it out. They changed it to the Block C, and they do have a new version of the Block C, I guess. It's just a different font. I think it looks a lot better, but that's not their primary logo. The, plo the Block C was the Indians' primary logo during their World Series run in 2016, and it was just kind of like a placeholder. I don't know why they kept it for so long. I feel like they were kind of waiting maybe for, I feel like they were kind of trying to wait it out and maybe they would go back to the Chief Wahoo thing. But I guess with the whole riots in 2020, that caused both them and the commanders to change their name. I really don't remember that being the cause of it, but apparently it was. And if you look at the Block C, they actually had that same logo in 1904, I guess. So they changed it to the Block C in 2014 from Chief Wahoo. They still did have Chief Wahoo as a secondary logo, but they would never wear it during games, especially in like 2017, 2018, 2019. The Indians did have a very cool alternate cream jersey. It was like an old-fashioned jersey that they would wear on Sundays. I don't know why they got rid of it. It was a great jersey. But either way, then they change officially to the, to the Guardians. I don't think the name Guardians is very good. And we can have this debate where when a team changes a name, everyone thinks it's bad because they're not used to the name. But I just think Guardians is like a little kitty name. It's like Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't like it personally. Uh, but that's what they changed their name to. And obviously, they had, they had the whole rebranding, changing all their logos and things like that. How about the Miami Marlins, though? So the Marlins, originally the Florida Marlins had... The logo with the fish, I did like their initial change when they moved into Marlins Park. They changed their logo. I just like those colors. Like that one that they changed in 2012 with the black, they're just sick colors. And then they changed the colors, they removed the black and made it white. And then in 2019, they change it back and, and kind of pay homage to the original Florida Marlins. I think it got worse personally, but a lot of people like that logo better than the, I guess, futuristic logo that they put out in 2012. But personally, I like the 2012 logo if they didn't include the word Miami and just had the M logo with the fish. I think that's clean. I like the black. I like the blue, the yellow, the orange, all of it. It gives you that tropical feel. And they only had that for four years, though, and then changed it and got, got rid of the black. And then they've officially rebranded in 2019. I believe that was, that was probably part of the ownership change there. So now they have that primary... M logo that has been used since 2019. Of course, you do also have the Washington Commanders, originally the Redskins. They changed their name to the Washington football team, and then they rebranded to the Commanders, but they really didn't change much. Like, you can't even tell they're called the Washington Commanders. I really think they're going to rebrand again before they move into a new stadium, possibly within the next few years. I know they've been talking about it. I do think they're going to become the Washington Presidents. That's my prediction. But there's other options out there. I saw a, a new logo like the Washington Red Tails, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, you've got a little plane there. Yeah, the Commanders is just not good branding. You go to Washington football team. I know some people liked that. I'm not going to get into a debate about it, but I have a very passionate opinion. I think it's a horrible name. You cannot call, like when you say Washington football team, there's 32 different football teams right? So which football team are you referring to? Like when I say the Browns, everyone knows I'm talking about the Cleveland Browns. If I say, oh, football team did this, football team did that. Well, which football team is it? And I know people say, well, it's Washington, but it just, it does not make sense when every other team has a normal name. You should not call yourself just football team. I know it's like, oh, it's the soccer premier league thing, but they have their own stuff. You don't have to steal it. 
Washington football team is not a good name. It never was. Even the Commanders is a better name. And obviously the Commanders name is probably going to be phased out within the next few years with the ownership change. That's what I would expect in terms of that. We also do have the Tampa Bay, originally the Devil Rays. They changed their name and logo to just the Tampa Bay Rays. And believe it or not, their primary logo, you can see the whole diamond that they included from 2008 to 2017. It was changed in 2018 to just Rays. You can see that. But yeah, when they were originally the Devil Rays, I guess it wasn't great for marketing to include the word Devil. And then it was changed to just the Rays. I think the logo could be a lot better than they currently have. Like, use a Stingray in the logo. Just make the logo a sweet Stingray. I know they have a really good secondary logo that has a Stingray, but they never use it. I just think it's a missed opportunity, personally. Uh, the Cleveland Browns, yeah, so the Cleveland Browns logo is very sad. And it's sad because they have so many different options that they could choose from. But I just feel like they're scared to actually commit to a legitimate primary logo. Their logo is just their helmet. And you can say, well, it's unique, it's quirky, no other team has that. But your logo cannot just be a helmet, you know? It just it, So there's really no logo there. But you can see the Browns, they recently, just this year, ch I guess, changed their logo from the brown face mask. That was their primary? No way that brown... Th th the Browns' primary logo had a dark brown face mask? Well, it got changed to white. I don't think that's true. Maybe it is. I don't know. It just looks weird in that image. But yeah, so they changed it to a white face mask. I, I guess it's better. But yeah, the Browns, you could choose the elf. You could choose the dog. There's so many different things you could do with a primary logo. Uh, but unfortunately, they just keep it as a helmet. I guess at this point, it's just tradition. Moving on to the Rockies. So this is a little known change. It's really not a rebrand, but you can see their original primary logo. It's just doing too much. Like you can't have the words Colorado Rockies in your primary logo. Secondary logo, I agree, you can. Not your primary logo. And they made it a lot cleaner with just the CR. I think it's a decent logo. You could argue that maybe there's not enough there. But for a primary logo, I think it is pretty good. How about the Toronto Blue Jays? I think this is a great rebrand that they did. And then in 2020, they made their logo really good, really clean. A lot of people have like like reminisce with that 2004 logo. Like that's when Jose Batista really started breaking out in like 2011. They had that logo. But I think the one they changed to going back to the retro and just improving it, like the one that they originally had in 97, I think it looks so good. To me, that is a great rebrand by the Blue Jays. Here's another little known one. So the Akron Zips really can't decide on a logo. You can see their like original primary logo back in 95. But take a look at the one in 2008. You've got the A. And then in 2015, I think the one in 2015 is really clean. Just the Z. And then even the script Akron that was only used for a year, I thought was pretty good as well. The one that they have now, I think is horrible. I would change it back to the Z or the script Akron. I actually like the script Akron even though in terms of a primary logo, it might not be the best. It, it does look clean to me. Uh, and then you do also have Alabama. I feel like nobody really even talks about this with Alabama, but during their Nick Saban run, their original primary logo included, it was that circle with Alabama Crimson Tide. That's a good secondary logo. It's not a clean primary logo, and you can see they eliminated all of that. It is just the cursive A, or whatever you want to call it, and it looks so clean. That was a very nice move by Alabama to change it just to the A. Uh, but guys, those are just some different teams that had either l recent logo changes or logo rebrands. When it comes to the future of like logo changes... I don't know. It'll be interesting. I mean, it's kind of weird how the Redskins and the Indians both changed, but then you've got the Blackhawks, you've got the Chiefs, you've got the Braves. They're not budging at all. So like, what are we really doing here with some of the teams changing and others not? And the whole thing is a bit ridiculous, but either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.